man, he's doing in the last day. Oh, la, 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 la. Grandson of King Salomon. Rastafari community will be marching against what they say is human rights violation and abuse. They say even though the Constitution advocates freedom of practice of all religions in the country, they are still discriminated against in their practice of their faith. Of all these faith-based communities that we have, we're the only faith-based community that goes to, ch to jail for, for our article of faith, which in this case is marijuana, that we use, it is central to our worship and, and so forth, even for medicinal purposes, textile purposes and so, and so yeah. forth. Most of employers are not at easy at hiring Rastas. We don't know whether is it really because of that usage or because of the faith and the religion that we're practicing. They came here, right here, at my house. They arrested me here for the growing of cannabis. Are you promised prior this? Son of I. I'm a conqueror of the tribe of Judea. Sambe! I'm a friend of the tribe of Judea. 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 For the past 25 years of democracy, the Rastafari still find themselves marginalized and well victimized by society. Rastafarian communities have instituted several marches to the state, including the annual march to parliament to hand over their memorandum of grievances. Yeah. In the spirit of dignity we are here, in the spirit of order we are here, because these resources are not theirs, it's ours. The South African constitution under its Bill of Rights recognizes the rights for civil society to initiate commissions and charters to protect the practices of religious rights and freedoms. To this end, the South African Constitution, through Chapter 9, supports commissions like the CRL, that's the Commission for the Protection of Religious and Linguistic Rights. The CRL has documented 44 contraventions against the Rastafari community, and one of these, the primary use of cannabis, the holy herb, for personal and spiritual purposes. You see these things we do, we do it for our generation to come, so that this building will not stand like in vain, man. You see, you are dead for us to fight, right? Ja! 
Rastafari, papa! What we know is that the Constitutional Court has ruled the private use of DACA uh, will be decriminalized. The ruling comes after the High Court in the Western Cape ruled in March that a ban on uh, cannabis used by adults at home was unconstitutional, effectively decriminalized. On the 18th of September 2018, the Constitutional Court ruling marked a unique milestone for Rastafari. These persistent negotiation and relentless affirmation of rights and a Rastafarian lifestyle had a mild measure of success when the personal use of cannabis law had changed. In the case of cultivation of cannabis, the focus is on the cultivation of cannabis by an adult in a private place for that adult's personal consumption in private. Accordingly, no use or possession of cannabis by a child. I and I were private. The old are good and are in the east for brethren to be all together. This current legislative provision, while limited, has shown potential to enhance the legal rights under the personal and religious use of the herb for the Rastafari community. Well, it's still very confusing because as much as we're talking about the, criminal, the decriminalization, it has been embedded in the minds of the same people who are now supposed to stop the brutalization. And we're talking the police and the justice system, which is still very injustice to the Rastaman and those who use the herb. Because now, for the longest while, we have been looking and, and, and being persecuted for advocating for the use not just for the purpose of getting high, but when we talk as the healing of the nation, we're talking medicinally, we're talking economically, we're talking even building the moralities where economically no one can be unemployed where it comes to the herb. This is why it is the green gold and the realization of all the commodities that can be produced from it, not just medicinally, but practically, from, from um, fibers, from cloth, from your, 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 your plastic pipings, to even build your house with it, to um, lubricate your cars. You, you can even look, Henry Ford even built a car and lubricated and fueled it solely from the one herb. Yeah, the decriminalization of cannabis, sure. I can actually just do this. It's like ancient of days I've been waiting for this. I don't want to die. I've stand for something so long. I don't even see it can be released to be alive. Uh, the day when I actually, uh, I had a problem, you know, I, that problem was wanting, having to face my, my parents, my, ma my mother most of all, because you, to face your mother is a heavy thing. You, you. Your father is always can be easy, but your mother, you, that's a big thing anyway. So for me, my mother did tell me, no son, I mustn't go smoke cannabis on the street. I must come make me a shelter in the backyard so that I'm not a naughty person. Yeah, uh, if the police gonna catch me, they're gonna put me in prison and then I'm gonna become a naughty person. I'm a not a naughty person. I must go to the, in the yard and build me a shelter. I can smoke there free. <clears throat> and that was my problem to tell my mother. And she gave me that solution. And I was happy for that. And today, for me, I, I feel good that if cannabis must be uh, decriminalized, because people who smoke cannabis, they are not criminals. Why must we feel like a criminal? Uh, the police are there to serve and protect us. When we see the police, why must we be afraid to see the police? Eh? The police must assist us uh, uh, to take the uh, criminals off the streets. Yes, the really criminals. Yeah, we are not criminals. We are, we are doing good. In creation, everything is good. So you, what you're doing, you're disturbing God. You see, because 
If you read in Genesis uh, 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 chapter uh, uh, 2, it says there, uh, oh no, it's a chapter, still chapter 1, I think it's a verse 29. It's telling here that the appointment of the food was the God to give you the food and every seed bearing, uh, every seed bearing plant that has a seed within a seed uh, is, 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 for, is for the meat. Is, is meat. So the creation is, is a meat for us. You see? So through that you cannot, uh, the word of the God is said, no, that uh, creation is for man. So how can they, they, they tell us that uh, we cannot be with the creation? So we are the creation people. So to decriminalize uh, cannabis is uh, good for us. Yes, uh, not just uh, in a spiritual aspect, but also in an economical uh, aspect as well. Um, yeah, uh, we also as Rastas need to be recognized, not just people uh, that uh, smoke ganja, you see, because uh, we as Rastas, we fight long time, we have criminal records uh, uh, that uh, put us into the prisons because of the ganja. Uh, today, you can, if you have the money, you can buy yourself a license. Uh, now, what about the people who are suffering the long time uh, uh, for this? And automatically you find yourself into prison. One, for stealing. Two, for uh, uh, maybe a murder because you did cover yourself uh, with something would not have happened if there was only security in food for people to eat. So today we only have a lot of wine farms. If you see only wine farms but you don't see uh, food, and cannabis, ganja, is very important for I and I. So we want it to be decriminalized as a people. Yeah, not just for spiritual value, but also for uh, for our people to have an economy as well. Yeah, we have we have a holistic health center here that we've been running for since it's it's about how many years now? Some couple from going to seven, eight years now. Now, we had a problem with a lot of patients because, like example, your cancer patients, your chronic ailments, because we needed ganja, we needed cannabis in one as a main ingredient in most of the medicines that we use. Now, because of that, it was difficult to go and obtain the herb or plant the herb because of fear of, uh, of being criminalized. But now we have a freer access to it and uh, we can plant it, we can grow our own cannabis for our own medical treatments, for our own oils, for our patients. So that has helped us quite a lot. The changes are good because people are now getting healthy now because now they are acknowledging that they are even free to use the herbs because ganja is herbs. You know, even as I mentioned, being in prison, some part was of that of Kanja, so to that we give thanks that they acknowledge that, you know, for the healing of the nation. As we always say that, Kanja is for the healing of the nation. You boil it, you drink it, it cleans the system, you know. It works in so many ways. You can bake it, you know, even in a meditation. Because, <laughs> you know, in a meditation is getting into this, Self, the existence, the presence, the I am that everyone has, you know. So when you go into that, that's when you can, you know, it needs to <laughs> you give thanks. The order of Majesty like, is teaching us to how to live a positive life. So and to all the youths out there, I, I just welcome everyone to say, come through and we chant together, you know, and observe and Decide for yourself, because it's broad. Give thanks. You know, the change is in a Rasta Parai. Nawana is in a foundation. Because now I know how to plant the marewa in a meal to get the, <coughs> the sacrifice. See, that I sacrificed the most I waited. So we feel positive because I was used here around. I was used to plant the tree, two, two, three, and even that they still complain. 
but now, as now, I see that we are going this time. Uh, the problem I did catch, I did catch, catch in a Cape Town. You see, is there I did Cape Town, they did Cape Town I, see. But I never spend an an I'm a day, because we were all congregation, see, for Marewa. You know, from that I'm, no have no, no, everyone is friend, why not? Yeah, policeman, magistrate, yeah, so my just call I man, our father. I, I, you know I don't know what can I do for you. I say bless and let just bless you. See, it's our work, work righteousness, not violence. Even to teach the nungis them, the brethren, all congregation, they feel positive when I'm there. No, for now it's better. We we, it's not that much by the brutalization of by the police is still hard let me be honest but in spiritually leave it at home is better because we are able to plant ganja at home we can drink ganja tea but upon the street there is still much hard that we experience but at home really we follow the, the they did achieve we did achieve government assist us at home we plant even we must achieve more by planting big farms since we, we are the only nation that brutalized by the police in the ancient government, in the, uh, the previous government. So now we must, give that, we must get pay. The government, they must feel for us that we are the Rastafarians. We did feel hard for cannabis. So now we are free. So let we feel, we enjoy the ganja. We plant more farms. It's for us. We must have a factory, farms. For us, it's what I want. It's what I vision. It's what I dream. If Rastafara one day can have a big victory. Yizwa, yizwa, isiki sexueloko. Yizwa, yizwa, isiki. In addition to the personal and religious use, the herb has medicinal benefits too. The National Eczema Research Organization and the World Health Organization have both confirmed the medical benefits of cannabis. The extracts like cannabinols is used for the treatment of eczema and many other skin ailments. Rastafari, Ras Motlatsi, a husband, father, a family man, one of the many Rastafari who are using cannabis or self medication and for the treatment of various illnesses within his own family. It took me for, yeah, I think four years to build, build up these strains. I had like seeds of white weed, then I grew the white weed, then I had purple haze, uh, pollinated with the male purple haze, then it came out like this. Then I stored and breed the seeds. So these are the seeds I'm, I'm growing. So this is white weed mixed with purple haze. Also my own strain took, yeah, this took four years. I started in 2014, 2018. Yeah, so yeah, I have the seeds in 2018, now it's 2020. Yeah, four years to build up this strain. Very good, very nice. Um, this is California orange. Uh, my name is Mutlazi Tsesha. I'm a Rastaman from Limpopo. I'm based in Jane Fess. Yeah, by faith I'm, I'm Rasta. Um, I have a Rasta family. I'm a youth, South African youth. Um, by profession I'm a dreadlock artist. I'm a dreadlock specialist. I run a salon. Um, I'm a ganja farmer too, horticulture. I plant ganja for personal use. I have four kids, uh, two sons and two daughters. My first Born is a girl, Bupelo. She's turning 11. Yeah, then um, second is Bukamos, is a boy. He's turning eight in a couple of days. Then uh, Wotu is a girl. She's four years old. She just turned four on the ninth. Then my last kid is Wutlokwa. Uh, is seven months. 
Yeah, so I've been using cannabis and ganja as cannabis ganja as medicine for, for the whole family. Um, when, when my wife, Shamina Tsetla, when my wife was pregnant with our second kid, uh, uh, the doctor said he's laying too much on one side. So she, we, we used to boil it and she used to drink it and stuff like that. And we used to like attend the gynae all the time. And uh, the, it used to help her with the pains and things like that. Um, when they were born and he was also diagnosed with, uh, with bronchitis and I've been using that. When the nebulizer and duolin can, can help him anymore, uh, the marijuana is the one that unblocks the phlegm. Uh, but we had eczema, um, we use marijuana also. So the whole family uses uh, marijuana. When the bronchitis, especially in winter, when Bukamusu's bronchitis is like very, very bad, I will dig up a couple of grams of marijuana you know, decap it because I need that little DAC to help him uh, sleep, uh, soothe him and things like that because he'll be coughing. Throwing days either, he will spit the phlegm out or it will unblock, you know, just like using your, 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 your medicine and things like that. So the whole family, like you can see, most of us, all of us, we dread it. So we make our own shampoo. Recently, we've been making our own soap. So it's we using marijuana also. So for his eczema, so eczema is not there anymore with the soap that we we using. So we've been marijuana has been part of our food, part of our medicine, part of our clothing. Well, we can't make clothes, but we buy clothes that are made of marijuana. So ganja has been and it's medicine and it's food and it's been feeding the whole family, medicating us and things like that. And I've been growing it. Who wants a seat? The family also makes edible products using the marijuana plant. In addition, their daily routine includes the making of personal hygiene and domestic products to be used around the house. I'm Shemine Tsetla, I'm a Rasta woman and I'm married to Mutlatsi Tsetla. It's been about 11 years now. We have four kids together. Well, in the food, I use either hemp seeds or I'll use the oil with the salads, um, CBD oil, or I'd use it in the muffins that we make, in the chocolate, in the butter. I also use it, but I basically use crushed ganja too in probably everything, just the same way you would use other herbs. And um, then my, my son was, was, was diagnosed with bronchitis. I use it in the form of tea, the leaves. I, I boil the leaves and I add some lavender into the mixture to, 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 so that, and chamomile so that he's able to sleep also. And then um, for eczema, I use it for, for all of them um, so that the skin can, uh, all the rashes can disappear and maybe not show the same way you would use other types of oils like bio oil. I use the ganja to, to cure those uh, marks. And then when I was pregnant, I experienced a lot of pain um, due to the size of the babies also. So um, I started using ganja for the pain on the inside of the stomach and also um, some pain, some, some migraines I was also suffering from. And it also helped a lot in that time. But basically, um, in everything that I cook, I, I use ganja and the kids in everything that basically soaps, creams, washes, shampoos. I go to work when I want to, meaning I sign my own check. That helps me and uh, I can take days off to be with my family and things like that. It balances with the lifestyle, you know. Uh, and we've been saying many years, ganja is medicine. Ganja is, she, she's got, a, she's got a eczema. When she's got eczema, we heal her with the ganja. So we've been saying it for many years, and now that it's legal, we give thanks for that. And I think we're the right people to be telling the people about ganja and telling them how to use it and things, uh, things like that. But so far, with um, Rastafari, I've, I've, I've learned a lot in, in life. I've learned how to humble, accept uh, any situation I come across. 
uh, within life, all the challenges and things like that, and just be grateful for every single day that I'm blessed with and time I get to spend with my family and little knowledge that I have pass on to my uh, two sons and two daughters. Mutabaruka said that there is no use of being stuck in a past which can give you proper knowledge on how to live in this time now. Um, so with the knowledge of Rastafari and how technology and things are advancing, we are also moving with the times. The value of cannabis as it was used in ancient of days, our ancient used cannabis. And here around, my green used cannabis. My father used cannabis. All the generations, they utilized cannabis before the white man come in Africa and take cannabis, the utilization of cannabis as a, a crime. So we have to teach the nation about it, that cannabis is a holy hemp. Executive member of the Rastafari United Front and the Rastafari Continental Council, Mama Nontlantla, Mother, Empress, is a recognized and qualified farmer with a farming certificate. Mama Nontlantla ensures the community eats healthy and maintains a healthy lifestyle. She is a pillar to this community. Sanbonani Babugeli, Kamalam Nontlantla Mpele, being chala mangu yem seven zini, nang a weekend, being seven zagui government, being seven zi office ni, kogama kwai kwai, yat all, and driving motes pezulu, yabo, and year round, and field worker foot at the same time, year round, and yens um seven zi with social development, now a senior department of health. So, eh, ugegela guam lom seven zi long, kalang kogama overall, eh, avantavaning baka, marumunto akala kakulu mamam. What is sure? How can we to look down to Ipunwen? Uzo Konagan and Lento Funuguens into Engwari Shega Kulga Rastafari Uguti Ugulaga Kona Agonziwa eat Yabo. So Mabon Guta, a mega sizzle, a good logo, which I love a belum, Melatina sizzle wood. Matimina, I'll go through the organic farming way. Yabo. So that is why today I'm a farmer. Chemicals, organic and stuff like that. Yes. Um, basically, we plant herbs and vegetables um, and fruits, some fruits which grow in our area. But most of the fruits that we get you know, from the tropical areas, we also like eating. But uh, the herbs, in terms of healing, are the most important ones that we actually go through. I mean, make sure that we plant. Singa marasta asidli nyam, and mele kotwa inyama bati ne protein, and tinag mele sile ama vegetables ane protein. So chalama beans for the protein, and then sichale nama leafy greens for wonka ma vitamins amanye swat dinga yabo. So abo spinach basne tisanga loko. For for a malefic greens, let you see, and then nemi rojo le e tina singa yas. Aba tina vanta na vama njas zas lezo zinto lezo. Kota tina senza show guti se se azika la engatin. Jenge mbu ya ganje se aika si omi se senza lugu tizo itengi sana sepsi ga magena ma nyama vegetables a green ganja senza show guti okay se nama vegetables we tu. A cinema green sense, and sure, I would see in Piloyako, Ikubega, Nama green vegetables.
abo and then logo gunyo go ready abo matamati na go se akutala ke eh makuisama em ubulima ku import ku balulekile eh kuma rasta because ama rasta into ayibeka phambili impilo eh end yabona eh si ngokudla kakhulukazi sigada loko sikufakayo emlonyeni wethu yabo asithanda ukuthi sifake noma yini nje empilweni that is why indaba zegazi nani 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 singazwani nazo sifuna ukuthatha ukudla oku healthy so ukufama especially in agriculture in vegetables and nama herbs nani 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 kubalulekile ukuthi ngoba kusinikeza amandla kusinikeza nempilo that is why nakanjani mele sizenzele ngezandla zethu ngeke sivumele ukuthi senzele omunye umuntu i ukudla sikudlayo ukweza uphumala ezandleni zethu into engizama ukuthi abantu bayinakekele about me na ukuthi ngijabulile la ngikhona ngenza into engiyithandayo obe kade kuyi hobby yami yabo and noma ngoba mhlambe ngiqo iyangcolisa vele iyangcolisa ngihlala ngicolile and nabantu engisebenza labo sihlala singcolile and sihlala la shiso ilanga and all that it still makes us happy because at the end of the day everyone will be happy with the food that we've come up with yabo Burn down the fire for the thief, for the liar Up on the vampire, the market for me awake Give them some fights to the conquering lion Gonna end the Zion, end the carnal mind We can't end the Zion, what you will can find I give them some fights to the conquering lion Got to end the Zion, burn the thief, for the liar Walking in the night, killing you, the mighty Gundam Killing all the youth, the mighty bomb and cocaine Forget about the youth, the men are safe for the youth Tell you some hunger ring and I'm all suffering to heal somebody is, is this is something I grew up with uh, my father took me there one day in my mother they said I must go on a holiday and when I come there it was just a plus and on the plus is drinking these things so it's what we call koi hut koi now if you say koi it's actually a bed you see so if I take this off like this by the stalk it is so soft that you can make a bed out of it and because it is a euphoric it, it will keep the insects away from you, so they won't bite you. It's where we learn the term from sleep tight, I don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah, it's a koi hut. And this is such a neutral herb. If you have headaches, uh, stomach, uh, it's very neutral for females. Because uh, if females don't have a menstruation, uh, I can give you this to drink and tomorrow morning you'll have your menstruation. You see, very powerful herb this one. Yeah, ancient koihut. Also, we use it also to call upon the ancestors. You see, uh, what we call smudging, to smudge. Because this smoke is very powerful, it goes into all the corners and it, it, it can oppress you. You see, yeah. So, this we also burn uh, to chase and to call. You see, yeah. I, so I got this one also from the ancients. Uh, it's buhu. Now, buhu is a Buku is also very neutral, you see, uh, because especially we must know what you can give for people that is high blood and uh, sugar, so you cannot give things like sweet roots and stuff like that, it's too high for them, the, the counts will go up. But uh, uh, buku is a very neutral, buku and garlic, they are very neutral, because buku is a, is a diuretic herb. So if I say diuretic, I can say no something that is traveling through my urine, my urine system. So it's going to clean my kidneys, uh, flushing out my kidneys, uh, and make my back strong. Uh, and then it's going to clean there through my prostate for the men. So it's a very important herb for the men, uh, for prostate cancer. You don't, must not get a prostate cancer because if you have a prostate problem, I can give you this to drink and then you can shrink your prostate. Because this, if this is a penis, ne, 
uh, and this is your prostate. You see that the prostate is pressing against the penis. Now it, the urine can come through there, you see. But if I give you this herb, you can drink it and then the prostate it will open. You see, now the urine can pass there now through, you see. So that is what this herb it does, you see. And very good for the kids, also for the chest, you see. Yeah, uh, puhu, yeah, is what we call it, the puhu. Yeah, puhu, yeah. So if I say uh, a hoja, you know, a hoja, it's a spinnacle, hoja. If, if you say hoja, and you can say kwaja, a hoja, a kwaja, a puhu, a taja, ham. The lion, you see, of Judah, you see, yes, is what I am today, Eli Rastafari. The growing global Rastafari community is expanding into all walks of life. Rastafari communities live alongside and from time to time assimilate their social, personal and businesses to the local landscape. And they play an active role in the economy. They are part of policy making. They are change makers, teachers, caregivers, and they permeate society in many other productive ways. For me, it was not so easy as well to be at this stage and being employed when I was finishing my studies and having to get into the working environment. Uh, most employers didn't want to take me into their employment with either the look that I'm having or already knowing that I'm possibly using this herb as coming from this community. But Yes, eventually the other employers decided to employ me. I'm currently doing work in the office of the public protector and uh, serving there as an investigator and an admitted advocate, hoping to see more of people like myself in this movement being allowed and able to go into the working environment and work as professionals, as qualified as they are, and not being discriminated or marginalized based on issues of faith where we thinking everybody is allowed and they are recognized to practice in terms of our constitutions and our Bill of Rights that everyone can practice their religion of choice and also have a choice in their profession or ways of trade. This growing age-old tradition, wow, rooted in Mother Earth and nature, have found mutually beneficial ways to live in modern and contemporary environments while maintaining their roots and always respecting the practices and principles of their Almighty. The future of Rastafari is to have a community where we can have our priests, our pre uh, elders. We've got priests, prophets, and kings. So priests, they play their role, and prophets, they play their role. You know, it goes with spirituality. Our God give unto one. So to being together as a community would be such a great thing. Eh, chuche amarasta. Ikulu kumbango. Ego chuche amarasta. Iyo na le yendla kuswago rasta re hanya kat. Re hanya e peace and love and harmony. Iyo na le la le marasta wa fani ke ba hanya iyo. Ku abashi mwenye ndeshi. Thing the future is there, but through the power of that, because Rastaman is not the man who, uh, may, I can say, government love him, he never love him, but our future. <coughs> is in our, our hands, it's in our plane, in a table, see? So we still have the youth, them. They will them, we we'll send them to the brainwash, yeah. So that when, when we want things, 
they must be our spear to say what we want. You see? So we know that everything is going to come out full, but it's going to still take a year's course. We're not waiting and, and fold our hands. None. We want the land back. They're going to work massive. Want to plant ganja. See? Because since from the youth, we, be, we I plant ganja. Yeah. Since from the youth, I plant ganja. You see? When the government come to me, you find that they have plenty galope all over, 21 galope around my ghetto, alone. Yeah. But I never fear them, fear to tell, because my, my future is going to be hard when I not tell the truth to the people, you see. I tell them that the things that you, you do is no good, you know is to play with the government and it was our power because the government is we. Every look you can is from in a police station, you come to one man with 21 van, how did? So it's that you find the future is harder sometimes, but we we think over and work through that plan that we, do, we, 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 we think about. See, Rastafari is the way. Because Rastafari is different from religion. Rastafari is the way of life. It's the origin of man. From the beginning, every man used to be Rasta because of the system. It come corrupt our people. They follow Panman religion. So I and I will fire by religion and promote liberty, righteousness. Regularly keep the Ten Commandments as now it's a, in a new name, in a new testament, let me mention like that. It's, it's written that you must love God than anything in this land and then love your brother as you love yourself. This is the, a new command. as based like the Old Testament, the Ten Commandments. So it's what we have to stay on. Furthermore, <coughs> is the three appointed feast. So if you hold on that, so now we are called by the new name, Rastafari, from the Christian name. Since we're Christ, it never is no more waking is wake the name of Rastafari by the new name. So we believe that Haile Selassie is the return of Messiah by now. <laughs> ni na ma principles at his nabo eh so lao ma principles ma walandelela impilo yakho iba positive as far as tina si 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 tata ngakhona asi asiphumeli ngaphandle kwendlela you know silandela lokho oku original oku natural oku oku sibekela kulo mhlabe siku we as Rastas now, we, we're done fighting that war. We're now in an in economical war. Hence, we're telling them about marijuana and ganja and being medicine, being uh, the new fuel, new things like that. So we, we were holding on to that faith and still fighting it before they could even, you know, uh, make it fashionable, make it attractive to everyone and things like that. So we were, we were holding on to Jah till this time. You know, so holding on to Jah is believing in one faith or believing in something and working towards it. So, yeah, man, so victory of good over evil, Celestia, blessed. We were on the forefront of the struggle. Why today we've been left behind and still harassed? I hope things will change. Let's hope things change. Those who are leading us start to realize that also the Rastaman, he needs to live free. Jalab, the gate of Zion, and all the dwellings of Jacob. 
glorious things are speaking of the city of Zion, Africa. Make mention of Rab and Babylon does not I. Behold the Philistine entire Bagheta with Kuch, Ethiopia. Holy Silas, I bond a thousand of years. Zion shall be said, did one and that one establish here in Zion. As I now further count the register of young and old who talk about our name, whether you sing or dance, all our sources is in Zion. Hallelujah. Rastafari. Last year, I had a first seal.